All right, so today we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to record this uh, making a uh, sort of backpack tracker and handling system for this uh, thing that I made. So as you can see, you have all your different pots and everything that you can get. And you have a web gear, but thing is, you can get as many of everything that you want, and it doesn't fill up. So, we are going to make a capacity and make it so that it does not break. And how we're going to do this is we're going to have a local side that will show the player their capacity, like what their current is and what their max is. And we're going to have a server side that will uh, stop them from getting more than they have. So how this is going to work is we're going to use this function here, and this will be the limiter. And this will make sure that uh, it's limited to a certain amount, and it doesn't give more than that amount. And it will also... Uh, correct if needed okay we're gonna start with this contents frame but first we need to figure out what all of the different capacities are so backpacks will have a higher capacity then webbing gear will have less and etc so we're gonna create a table so it's easier for me to see and we're gonna have this table in a module script so it can be accessed both from the client and the server so this new table we're going to name uh, storage capacities. Hopefully I spelled that correctly. And we're just gonna start by having the name and then we're gonna have the number like that. And we're just gonna go down like you see here and just have a big list. So we need to find out the names of our different uh, storage devices. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to put this on my screen. And in here I have different things like backpacks and webbing, rigs, etc. So we're going to start with webbing. So we're going to get this one. This is the main webbing, and we're going to say that has a capacity of 2. Then we're going to get the belt, which is different. So all these webbings will have a capacity of 2. Flak jacket, and for time's sake, we'll just do that. So we're going to insert a flak jacket, M56 with knife, M56 with spade, and ammo bearer we will have as four. So these are all of the main webbings that we have. And now we can do a rucksack. So these light rucksacks, they will have four each. So four items will be, will be in their inventory. And we'll have a medical backpack. This will have four since all the medical stuff is already really in a different type of thing. Um, M72, I do not know what this is, but we'll give it four. Radio, it's a radio, so we're just going to do two for that one. Lightweight Ruck, we're going to do four. And then this Ammo Alice. Alice packs, we're going to do a good eight. Medical Alice, this is not in the game, however, if it were to be, it would be eight. Okay. And then we are going to do different setups. So if someone has a rifleman, they'll gain an extra two spots. 
Grenadier will be four. Squad lead will be two. Radio man will be two. And ammo vest will be two because it's just ammo. Everything else can add. Okay. So this is our main uh, gear. And we should probably add LRRP stuff. Am I in this game? Just go over here. You can go to replicated storage, uniform assets, and then LRP full. Full rig will give them eight. Six. We'll do six. And LRP rig will give them four. We like even numbers here, mostly. Um, everything else should be fine. Nothing else can really hold ammo. Ammo bear, do we have that? No. Ammo bear will be four. Okay, this is our storage capacities that we will use when we have our thing. And let's do the local side. So how we're gonna do this is we're going to have the player, so local player equals game.player. Game.players.local player. Player. really only need that we can do local char equals player that character so now what we do is um, we also need our module so local rs equals game get service rep replicate storage and then we do uh, local mod or module equals rs require rs wait for child and then unif uniform module there we go this is our module where we can access our stuff and we want to be able to return this list so we're going to create a function that i have and i don't know how it get the list to do stuff, whatever. Return storage cap. So this is our function here. So I can call this and it will just give me back storage capacities. Now what we can do here is um, we can do a child added. So we do char child added. Now I don't know if this char will be able to be fixed when um, someone responds, but we'll figure that out. Char that child added connect function. And then we can have C if we want. This will be the child that is added. But we're just going to have this function to run whenever a child is added to the uh, thing or removed. Should have removed too. It'll be the same function. Okay. So in this, um, this is just going to be controlling the uh, little thing right here this UI in the corner or on the side. So what we're going to do is let's make functions, why not? So we can do char that child added and then and removed and we can do player dot backpack child added connect 
function C. Then child removed. Okay. Now we're gonna have a local function um, fix UI. This function is going to be the backbone of the script. So we can have local uh, current num and then local max num. And these variables will be filled with numbers and these numbers will be displayed here. So what we can do is whenever we call it, we'll go through the um, player's backpack with a for loop. And then we'll do player.backpack and then get children, make sure you do that to make it a table. And then if v is a tool, then and we want to make sure that we do if it, it, it's a tool because there could be other things in the backpack. Now, if V is a tool, this will count towards the max limit. We do max num plus plus. I don't know if that will work. I'm thinking of Java right now. Okay, just do plus equal one. So this will take care of the maximum. Now what we can do is um, let's create a local uh, list table equals, then we can just call this. So return storage cap. So we can do mod.return storage cap. And this will be our list. Now we can do um, four underscore v in pairs uh, list table. I'll do this differently, so we might not we don't need that local variable right here, but we'll use it anyway. So we're gonna go through this table, and then we're gonna do a find first child. So we're just going to do char find first child and then two string v just to be safe because there are numbers too. So we're going to have to do this in a if. If char find first child is not equal to nil, so it doesn't error, then so if char not equal nil then we can do um, current num equals and this is the uh, thing we do plus equal and we do list table for this we're going to need an i here instead of having it blank So this will be our i plus one. So how this works is we're in this table. If it finds, let's say M56 web gear, it will list the i and then it'll go plus one. So we'll have this two here. So we'll add that to the current num maximum. All right, so now this should give us our current and max num, and we just put that in the text. So if current num is not equal to nil and max num is not equal to nil, there's no reason it should be, but we're just making sure that it isn't. 
both are not equal to nil, then I can actually just do four. And returning the statement will close the function. So if they're equal to nil, it will just close it so it doesn't break the text label. But there's no reason it should be. It's just an extra precaution. All right. And then we do script.parent. Navigation frame dot text label. We're gonna rename that so uh, know what it is. This is the current max items. And then we're gonna do dot text equals, and then we're going to create a string with concatenations. So yes, it recommended a two string. So two string current num and then we're going to do concatenation by doing dot dot and do this and we're going to put space to make it pretty and then we're going to do uh we're going to need that two string max num and then if we call this function whenever a child is added or removed it should update the local side See, it says zero out of zero. And I almost forgot one thing. Actually, this is not going to work. Okay. This is not going to work how I need it to. going to need to do max num equals zero. Actually, it might work out. I think it's going to work. Two string current num. Put these backwards, my fault. Max num. And then before I go back into it, I'm going to do a max num of, let's do six for now, because this will be the player's uh, starting. Players that will be able to carry six things, maybe eight, maybe 10 in the future. So now it works like that. And if I put on Web gear, rifleman, let's do jungle fatigues, miscellaneous, we could do an Alice pack. Gives us 18 things. So we can get a gun, smokes, and that adds up like that. And it doesn't, it's not. but I can always go over. So we need to fix this on the server side. So I'm just going to replicate what I have here, but on the server side, and we're just going to do it whenever it gives a tool to a person. So this function right here, how I have it set up is if this is not equal to nil, it will remove objects of the same name or whatever. So like if you have a rifle, it, you don't want to have another like primary. So it will just remove your rifle and give you the one that you clicked. Um, so we're going to add this here because we don't want to, we want to be before this. This is where it clones and gives the tool. So what we're going to do is... Local current num, max num. Um, 
This is this shouldn't be here, but I, I think it'll work. We'll see. And then char. Where am I gonna do this? Do player dot character. There we go. Player dot character find this raw blah blah blah. Okay. And now if Current num is greater than or equal to max num, then we will return end. So this will just terminate it. But it would be best if it is up here, I think. Try it out. Hopefully there's no errors. Okay. Let's try that. I'm going to do a play here. Two, three, four, five, six, and it's not giving me nothing more. But if I give myself let's see what should I give myself? Hub gear. Okay, now I can give myself two more things. Okay, but what if I clear my avatar and it goes back to six? All right, so that is one thing that we're going to have to fix because if you take your stuff off, you should remove your items. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to make this whole thing into a function. So I'm going to do a function above attach so it works. Function mm dot um, find capacities. And then we just do that. Have a player. So it can work. Okay. If So then return true. I think that will work. Else return false. Haven't done a return statement in a while. So in theory, this should work like this. Yep. Try to think of how to do this. What I can do we can create a server script. It's gonna be more scripts, but we can do this to handle if something is removed for whatever reason, but it would only be removed here. So we can be lazy and carry a service script, or we can go through everything that removes a, I don't know, something like this will remove stuff. All right, we're gonna do a lazy way. 
uh, we want to go in here and then script and then uniform or we could just do it in the locker scripts because we don't want to create more scripts if we don't have to so this is the opener so we do uh, game dot players dot player added connect function that's once connect function player and game player dot character dot player dot character added connect function char char dot child removed connect connect function and we can do c If uh, rep uh, name that replicate storage dot uniform module, we're gonna have to require this. If require that require and put up here local. If mod dot um, return, no, we don't want that. We want, what is it called? Find capacities. Mod dot find capacities. Then we have to put a player. Then um, to do that, we need to get the capacity current local. local difference equals let's try to do math eight minus six six minus eight max num minus current num print diff gotta try this Print statements are your friends, because whenever you, ever you have an error, you're going to need a print statement always. Okay, we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we also need to do our output so we see what's going on. Now let's clear our avatar. We get negative 2. So if we flip-flop these maximum minus current num I hope it gives us two I also need to do an absolute value so we do this and then supply one two four six seven eight clear avatar negative two okay we can work with that whatever So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do for i equals zero. This is a uh, basic for loop. Actually, we're gonna do zero, sure. And this is our diff, and then we're gonna do increment by one. Do print yes. And I just close. And I'm going to do that. Okay, back to this. It's still very good. So let's just repeat our process here. And of course, I spawn back there.
torso, web gear, and then we do supply, and we do eight, torso, web gear. Eight, torso, web gear. Clear avatar. What happened? working current mum is greater than or equal maximum return true this is the part where it doesn't go as planned and you try to figure out what you're doing Okay. So you did that, but why? Probably in current diff. So for loop i equals zero. Oh, that's stupid. My fault. this game sometimes roblox in general okay torso web gear supply one two three four five six seven eight clear avatar and we get yes times three we don't want that so we're going to do um mega run this we only want to remove or well i guess that's fine we only want to remove two things because there's two things missing so we're gonna do torso web gear supply one two three four five six seven eight and then in clear avatar goes on six yes times two good so then it's just gonna be random uh char player player dot backpack find first child child of class tool destroy mm, there we go so now it's going to destroy two random tools should it destroy them or should it like throw them on the ground i think throwing them on the ground would be cool but it just caused too much lag for now okay Let's get web gear. Let's get my weapon. Let's get a couple grenades, a couple of these. Supply, let's get 1911, a few MCI, canteen. No, I can't get any more. Oh, I accidentally clicked clear avatar. And it removed my gun. Okay. Now I can't get any more. But we're going to go put on our pot. It's going to be an LRP. Uh, nail. Okay, we're gonna put this. We're gonna put rifleman. We're gonna do jungle fatigues. We're gonna do an Alice pack. Now I can get more. Good. Yeah, I don't have a gun. This is the bad part because I don't know how to remove stuff. Could just chuck it. That works. What if I pick it up? Mm. Okay. 
I guess that works. Just going to remove some random thing from your inventory. Um, so people have to pay attention. Alright, well that is all I really needed to do. Make sure you remove your print statements that you're not using anymore so it doesn't randomly print in the log. But yeah, so here is what I added to this to make it work. And then I added this. And all that does is it gives you a max number of tools based on what you have. So uh, if you find this interesting, useful, sure, let me know. Up to you. I don't really care. Bye.